Ella Phillips and Files Film Guru here. Today I'm reviewing Judy and Punch. This was directed by actor turned director Mira Folks and stars as Mia Wasikowska and Damien Herrum as well as a variety of others. The film is set in the 19th century in a tiny town called Seaside. Incidentally, nowhere near the sea. Whom out and ruined by poverty and neglect, the lives of the seaside town folk have spiralled into violence, mob rule and God-fearing hysteria. Amongst the chaos, one glimmer of artistry remains. Punch and Judy's Puppet Theatre. This is quite a, a solid film for a first-time director. It's very well handled, it's an interesting story matter, it has in interesting colourful characters. And it, it just tells an, a sort of simple story. And hats off to this director for her first time out as director and, and, and giving us such a fascinating film. I think all the performances here are fantastic. I love it set in this small little community in the middle of nowhere. And I love that it's set in the 17th century. And it, it sort of looks at how life is at this particular place and how life was back then where people are ultimately accused of witchery and are either hung or stoned to death and it sort of looks at that sort of thing that was transpiring at the time. It really looks at relationship breakdowns and the puppetry that these two people did that ultimately inspired the, the particular puppet show that is well, really well known these days. There's a lot to like about this. I think the two leads are fantastic. I think I think Damien Herriman's really great in this. I think that he's an interesting actor who's doing some really interesting work at the moment. But he's ultimately playing a lot of villains, and that's sort of what he plays here. He's a little bit more complex than your run-of-the-mill villain. But the real star here is Mia. Mia is fantastic. She does such a brilliant job. She's a character we can get behind. She does some of her best work in this film. I think she's a really talented actress who's who's paved a way, who's done some really interesting work throughout her career. And this is a great example of that. I think she's just fantastic. This character we can get behind, we feel for her, we see the struggle she goes with, we connect to her particular character. And you can, at a point, understand what she's going through. You can see that you really want her to achieve her goals and pay back this man for what he's done to her and, he, and her child. The, the, the parts I really like is the fringe dwellers when we meet them, you know, this sort of gypsy-like community that have been banished from the town and live in the forest. They're really interesting and colourful characters. And I think this stuff's really well handled. In a lot of ways, it feels like a Brothers Grimm sort of fairy tale. Not as full on as it could be, but it sort of has that feel about it. It didn't quite go in the direction I expected, but I still enjoyed my experience with this. The, the feel of the film, I really liked the look of it. I really liked it felt like a, a sort of Grubber's Grimm sort of fairy tale, a bit darker in elements, and I liked that. I really like some of the songs, the original songs that are written for the film. They're fantastic and well used in this. There's some really great slow motion sequences. Real sense, you get a real feel of these particular characters and the sort of drama that's happening. This is a director who started as an actor and she's able to give great performances and she's able to harness really great performances in this film. And I'm really impressed with what she's able to accomplish here. I think it's really well, it's beautifully shot, it looks great, the costumes are fantastic, the scenery is great. I love, like I said, the sort of forest area that we see that these sort of gypsy characters inhabit and all the different people among them and how they all sort of contribute to the group. I really like that. I think it's well written, directed and put together and I was really impressed with this and it's a breath of fresh air in such a stale year of cinema. Now there's things I didn't quite love as much. There was this sort of strange humour at the beginning in the film, sort of obscure humour that didn't quite feel right I guess, especially in the violent scenes that take place, um, the domestic violence that the film really looks at. I, I just thought that this kind of humour took away from what they were trying to, took away from the emotion they were trying to create with these particular scenes. I think some of the characters are undeveloped and could have been developed a bit more and we could have learned a bit, little bit more about them besides the main characters, we don't know a lot about them. There's this young girl I really like who sort of leaves the sort of safety of the forest to go in and see these um, Judy and Punch show and sort of take it in and she gets in trouble for it. But she ultimately is the one who finds Judy after what happens to her and ultimately saves her life. And I thought she was a really interesting character and the whole film could have really been told from her point of view. But I just felt that she could have played a much more important part in the, the sort of little role that they gave her. And ultimately, it just didn't quite get there for me. It didn't quite go the way I expected, but I still enjoyed my experience with it. Final thoughts. 
This film really is a metaphor or looks at violence and it looks at um, domestic violence. It looks at how women are sometimes treated by, by men and, and society and the way they're sort of pushed around and about how much strength that women do need to lead these relationships or to overcome things that they've been through. And this film sort of sort of looks at that and I thought that was an interesting sort of message this film was going. It looks at people who are in society who are different and how they're sort of treated, how society and communities can turn on people just because they are different or see things a different way or act a different way or look different. And I think this film addresses that as well. And I respect the filmmaker for tackling these particular subject matters in, in the way that she does. Only if you want something different, this is definitely worth your time. I'm going to give Judy and Punch three and a half out of five. Even though I did ex enjoy my experiences with it, I thought it could have been a little better in, in parts, but I did like the film that was presented to me and I like what the director was trying to convey through the story she was telling. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.